Greetings and welcome to today's Extraordinary Connection. My name is Pastor Devin and I serve at Romeo United Methodist and I'm glad you're able to take a few minutes with me here today. Looking at the calendar, we only have a couple of more days until Christmas at this point. I'm willing to bet that most of those days between now and the 25th and likely a few days after, they have some things planned for them, don't they? Family or friends get-togethers, traditions that have to be done, hopefully some plans to attend a worship service on Christmas Eve, even if it needs to be done virtually this year. We all have those things that we have to do in the next few days. But I also hope that you've been able to do a few of those things that you really enjoy doing during this season. Maybe for you it's watching a, a favorite movie that you have, Christmas Vacation, A Christmas Story, Home Alone, Die Hard, or maybe it's just sitting down and watching this year's marathon of Hallmark movies. Maybe you really enjoy baking those Christmas treats for friends and family, or, or building and decorating a gingerbread house. Maybe you like loading everyone into the car and going for a drive through town to take in all the lights and displays put up by your neighbors. Maybe you like spending some time volunteering somewhere in your community, lending a hand, helping where you can. Or maybe you have an entirely different tradition of those things that I just listed, something that you look forward to doing each year. If you have one of those things, I'd love to hear it. love for you to share it with me in the comments or send me an email. I'm always on the lookout for a, a new tradition to try out. But I do hope you've been able to take some time in the hustle and bustle of this holiday season to do some of those things that you enjoy. You know, all the coming and going I've been doing, all that's been happening in my house, it really made me, made me think, it made me stop for a moment to think about that first Christmas as Jesus was born. Because really there was quite a lot going on at that time as well, wasn't there? That called census, having everyone travel to their own towns to register, there would have been a lot going on. People coming, going every, every which way as Joseph and Mary made their own way to Bethlehem. And even after Jesus' birth, we, we know that there were those visitors who came, those guests who were coming and going, all with the best intentions, of course, but still, a lot of activity, a lot going on. We even sing about that little drummer boy who showed up playing that drum. As I'm sure Mary and baby Jesus, they really just wanted and needed some rest. Much like our own Christmases, much like they can often become, there was a lot going on on that first Christmas for Mary and Joseph and Jesus. But as I've been preparing for my services this week and trying to make sure all those things on my to-do list are taken care of, there's one verse one verse that I just keep coming back to. It's verse 19 of Luke 2. It reads, But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. You know, I'm sure you have a lot going on right now in your life, your families. Your church, your community, our country, the world, there is a lot happening all around us. But I really hope, really and truly hope, that you, like Mary, can find a few quiet moments in the midst of it all. That you can take a moment to read these scriptures, read those first couple of chapters of Matthew and Luke, to hear and to contemplate to treasure the words contained in the scriptures and ponder what they mean for you. Go back and read those words. Ring the, read those words that bring good news of great joy for all the people. And remember that you are included in that all the people. Christ the Lord, the Messiah, has come. And he will come again. Thanks be to God for the promises made. Thanks be to God for the promises kept. I do hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I hope that your hearts are filled with the hope, the peace, the joy, and the love of this season. And until next time, stay safe, take care, and God bless.